Hey guys, I thought I'd uh, do a quick tutorial of a new script that I've been working on. Um, something a few of you have asked about before, uh, quite a while ago. Um, and I thought I'd give it a go. So, this is the simple slot block script. So, I thought what this will do is enable or disable slots uh, based on flags in DCS. So, it's very, very easy to enable or disable a slot. Uh, basically, you just set a flag with the group name of the unit you want and you put a value in that you decide on. So let's just have a quick look at the script which will make it all a bit clearer. So this is the slot box script. Um, you install it into DCS by dragging it into your save games DCS scripts folder. If you have other versions of DCS like Open Alpha and you run your multiplayer server on that, um, and drag it in here and I guess that's an important point to make is that this is only needs to be done by the server admin uh, clients don't need to do anything for this to work so slot box script is pretty small really um, and the way it works as I said is is using flags so by default uh, the flag value to enable a slot is set to zero so what that means is by default all flags are zero, so therefore all slots are open. If you went and changed this to 100, um, all slots on your entire mission would be disabled until you set the value of a flag for a particular slot to 100. So let's put this back to zero. Um, first, before slot blocking will work in your mission, uh, you have to set a special flag, which you do by just setting the flag SSB or simple slot block to 100. If that's not done, um, slot block again will just be ignored on your mission. The way it works, as I said, is you put the group name, specifically the group name, not the pilot name, uh, into this function here, trigger action set user flag, and you put a value in. So what this little, these two lines here will do is set heli1 to usable and heli2 to not usable because its value is not zero, which is what we've set here for the enable flag. So let's just do a quick run through um, to show you, well, how easy it is to enable and disable a slot flag. So number one, let's turn on SSB. So we'll do a time more of all one and we will do a bit of script. So let's take this one. Okay. So when your mission is run, you will uh, turn on SSB. So now let's make a second flag, which is Disable heli. And we'll come back to that in a sec once we've put some helicopters on this map. So let us put a Huey, call him heli1, make him fireball. There we go. And you can take off from parking lot. Great. And make a second one. Heli2. Note, this is the group name, not the pilot name that we are editing. So let us make it that we can no longer fly heli2. There we go. So we've set the flag for heli2, which is the group name, to 100. So he can't fly anymore. And now we will clone this. I won't. Uh, now let's make it so we can unlock him. So unlock heli2. Uh, let's do a zone. Zone. There it is. There we go. Sorry, wrong button. Right. Enable heli to zone. Uh, set 
this to 400 feet. Great. Uh, right. So let's make an action. Enable ID 2. When helicopter 1 is in the O2 zone, uh, and then we will do a script. So we will set LE2 to 0. There we go. That's all we have to do now. So we've set the flag for Heli 2 to 0, which means that he can now be flown. And we will also just do a message Heli 2 enabled. And we will do a hello so that we can see that this actually happened. Great. There we go. This will trigger once and turn on Heli 2. Okay. Save as slot block test tellies. Uh, yeah, why not? So hopefully I've done that right. Um, you can't test it in, well, you can test the triggers at least, but you can't test the slot blocking in uh, the mission editor because you need a server running in order to have slots, basically. So slot block test tally, go. Turn off pause. Right. So heli one, we can join. This is great. Ooh, good. And heli two, we can't join. So sorry, Kirabob, this slot is disabled. So we can't join him. So let's join heli one and make it so that we can fly heli two. So he's going to fly down here to trigger this action. Hey, there we go. So we've got the flare. We're ready to enabled. So let's just change slots. And there we go. Now we can join slot two. So that flag worked. Uh, and now we can fly Heli 2 to our heart's content. And again, obviously you can change those flags at any point, so you could then disable this slot at a later stage. Um, if the slot's disabled or someone's in it, as soon as they crash or quit or leave the aircraft, they will be able to get back in that slot. Um, and that's it really. I will do some documentation about the other features, um, such as disabling the GCI slot for certain players, uh, but I won't do a video for that because it's just a bit long. Thanks a lot.